Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist, and in this video, I wanted to show you uh, how to record uh, cashback rewards or rebates or things of that nature on a credit card in QuickBooks Online. Okay, I do have another video of showing this in QuickBooks Desktop, and so I wanted to show you this in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so here we are in the bank feed. Okay and we've got checking savings mastercard all right so if you if you have not set up your bank feeds in quickbooks online highly highly recommend that you do that uh, because it will import your transactions uh, or i shouldn't say import it'll download them and show them here to where you're going to accept them or reject them or match them to something you've already put in quickbooks uh, it makes it so much easier to keep your records straight Okay, so, but in a credit card, you know, you've got all sorts of credit cards out there that have these cashback rewards, or um, it could be a rebate, or it could be something of that nature. Okay, so this is a sample company file, and we have um, a transaction coming in here from Amazon, uh, where we've received $89.99. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to uh, because I can't change the bank feed transactions in this sample company file, we're going to use this as an example. Okay, so this could be, you know, two dollars and twenty-eight cents from Staples as a cashback reward, or it could be four dollars from a gas station as a um, as a reward. Okay, now there's two ways generally that people are gonna gonna record this, and I'll show you the way that I like to do it, and the other way as well. All right. Okay. So when, when in, in my business, when I get a cashback reward or for my clients' businesses, um, we generally are going to put it against the expense of what it was for. Okay. So let's say in this case, Amazon, we purchased a, you know, let's say a, uh, it was $500 of supplies of office supplies. Okay. And, you know, as part of that, let's say a chunk of it was a, you know, a printer, I don't know, for $300, but there was a rebate for $89.99. Okay. Now a printer for $300, uh, generally we're not going to put as a fixed asset because it's too small. We're going to put that to office supplies generally. Okay. So when we get this cash back reward, we're going to put it against office supplies. Okay, so we'll put it, we'll put these cashback rewards against the expense that we've already recorded in general. Okay, and let's see if we have, let's see, office supplies, we'll put it here. Okay, and it says software, you know, let's say that this was Amazon cash back rebate. All right, okay, and we're going to say that it was supplies. Okay. So if we click add, okay, that's going to add that into our transactions. And let me show you uh, if, let's see, if I go to chart of accounts, just to show you uh, what that has done. Okay, let's say see your chart of accounts. Okay, and I go to expenses and I go down to supplies. Okay. Let's run the report for supplies and let's make sure that that's in there. You'll see there's a negative expense. Okay. All right. So if I, let's say that I just click all dates, run report. Uh, it looks like there's no other transactions in here. Okay. So that shows up as a negative expense, okay? And in your typical situation, you're gonna have all these supplies and then a negative amount, okay? So here's why we do this generally is, okay, we've, you know, when we are looking at our financial statements, our profit and loss for our business, um, this is a reduction in the supplies expense, okay? Or it could be a gas expense, or it could be, uh, you know, meals cash back, uh, whatever the case may be. Okay, so we look at that as that was a reduction in that expense. So when we're looking at our profit and loss, we like to see that just offset against those expenses. Okay, 
that way it gives us a better read on our margins. It gives us a better read on the profitability of the business. All right. Now, what some people do, uh, and this is completely okay to do, if we go back to banking, uh, we're not going to have a cash back amount in here, but some people will just put it to other income. Okay. So they want to see that uh, we spent a certain amount on supplies or meals or gas or whatever it was. And they want to just show that full expense and they will put the cash back rewards as other income. Okay. So it really depends on how you want to see that in your financial statements, as long as you keep it consistent. Okay. So if you are always putting cash back rewards against the operating expense, do it that way consistently. And if you put it as other income, do that consistently. Okay. All right. And then at the end of the month, of course, you're going to go and you're going to reconcile your credit card to keep your balances correct and to put the bill in correctly. Okay. Uh, to make sure that you are showing the outstanding balance, you are capturing all those expenses. Please make sure you do that correctly, especially if you're not paying off your balance or your credit card every month and you should be good to go. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if so, give it a like and, uh, you know, feel free to share the video and head on over to QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org, where we've got the full training tutorials on QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. And I give you personal support to help you in your QuickBooks file. Talk to you soon.